Hello and welcome to Mock Productions. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are here with Pokemon Go. Now, after yesterday's amazing egg extravaganza episode, oh boy, oh boy, this is going to be amazing. This is going to be so, so cool. We have got some new evolutions to do. We've got old evolutions to do. Plus, I also have, and I've done some research on this, a very, very quick way to level up as soon as you put a lucky egg on. And it's extremely easy. I don't know why I didn't think of it beforehand, but it's going to be awesome, and I'll show you exactly what's going on. But before we do that, I got two more eggs to show you. We got a 5k and a 10k. We'll go over to them now, and then we'll come back, and we'll get on with this. Okay, guys, so we have one of these two final eggs here, this one being the 5k. Don't know if the 10k will follow after this one, but who knows? It might be very, very close, at least when I'm recording this right now. But when it goes on, they'll be together. So happy days. Let's see what we get. Something hopefully not a Staryu or a Goldeen or a Paris. A Psyduck. Okay, that's not bad. That is not bad. What is it? CP 594 pushing us over? Almost. Almost. I don't think the 10k will follow. Bulbasaur found a candy though, which is good. So he'll start his circle again. I'll just quickly check the Pokemon. Yep. It'll be hatching very, very soon. So, it'll probably be follow following this one, and then it's the evolution. So, let's get on with it. Okay, so, the last egg, and this one is extremely important. It's a 10k egg. Now, <clears throat> let's go through what I'd like to see. I'd like to see a Lapras, a Snorlax, a Kabuto, because I don't have one, an, Om an Omanyte, a Dratini would be fantastic. A duplicate of an Eevee would kill me. I would oh, I'd be on the floor dead, completely dead. We're hoping for something good, something new, or something that's better but is not a Jinx or an Eevee. Anything else, maybe a really good Scyther or a really good Electrobuzz, fantastic. But anything else, I'm begging, please don't. So here we go. Last egg, and then we're going to do Evolution Central, and we're going to go nuts. But here we go. Come on, please. Let's do it. Let's scroll up. Scroll down. Oh, come on, please, please. Oh my god, yes! Come on! I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Whoa! 1728! Ah, that's amazing! 27 candies as well. Zen Headbutt and Earthquake. I've got to just check this. Appraise him. Let's see what happens. Don't transfer him for God's sake. Oh, nice, he's Snorlax. He's a wonder. HP, defense. Oh my god, he must be a really high one. It's colossal. Ah, my god, that's amazing! Look at that, look at that, Snorlax. That is amazing, amazing news. Look at the number. 1728. Get in there, Snorlax. What? Listen to that noise. Sounds like he's farting or something. Wow, tons of HP, he's an absolute tank, look at this guy, oh my god, finally, oh that is amazing, oh my god, I can't get over that, do I get an achievement for that, whoa, there's a Hypno nearby, that was a 1600 flipping egg, that's good, well I guess it's a new Pokemon, let me just, let my god, look, I've got a combat power, oh look, there he is, he's beaten everything, he has smashed everything into existence, that is is amazing amazing news oh my gosh that is so so cool so anyway let's go over now and start doing our evolution central because boy is it going to be amazing oh wow i can't believe that anyway over to that okay so with them done now we can concentrate on this stuff now bearing in mind that 10k egg was explosive it was amazing 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 the luck was fantastic I couldn't believe it, just could not believe it at all. But anyway, we got a lucky egg, put that on, we've got half an hour from now, so let's go through them. So, uh, first things first, it's going to have to be this guy here, Bellsprout. Now, uh, Bellsprout at the moment has got 128 candies, which is rather a lot. You can see I've got quite a nice bunch of high CP Bellsprouts here, but we're going to go for the highest, and we're going to see how we do with this. So I'm going to evolve it to a, a um, Weeping Bell into a Victory Bell. Now, from last week, you'll know I've already got a Victory Bell. It was about 201. So, fingers crossed, this is going to be good. We're just going to work our way back down the, the sheet. We're not going to keep looking for them. We're just going to work our way down and uh, go from there. 
So let's evolve this. It was a 630. Let's see what it turns out to be. This is going to be pretty cool. Come on. <clears throat> put that up, put that down. Uh, maybe a 900. Maybe pushing a 1000 would be nice to see. But I don't think that would happen. But who knows. Let's have a look. See what we get. Go for it. A 974. Wow, that is really good actually. That is flipping awesome. Okay, so that's rather cool. So, here is where the the special the special leveling up comes. Now, I've obviously got the lucky egg on, which every evolution now will go up to a thousand. So, every single one is worth a thousand. We're oh, we're we're round about halfway to leveling up to 24, which is pretty cool. Now, you'll notice for Caterpie, the candies to evolve them into a Metapod are just 12. Now, this happens with Pidgey, Weedle, and him. Now, you've also, I'm also going to put into the list for an easy evolution, Rattata, because it only takes 25, and that's it. Those are the easiest to level up. Now, you think how many Weedles and Pidgeys you get, and you think, I won't get them. Honestly, get them. Wait until you see how many candies I have for those guys, and wait until you see how many I've actually got ready to be evolved. It's going to be crazy. Absolutely crazy. But you can see we've got 51 here. Now, what I'm going to do is just going to keep evolving all of these Caterpies into Metapods. Um, some, sometimes I wish there was a skip button on the uh, evolution thing. I mean, when you've seen them, you don't really want to go through this stage. I know it's a nice thing to see, but when you've seen it, I think you know a nice skip button would be lovely to see. But there's the Metapod there. I'm not too sure. I think that was 100 and something, that, that, um, that Caterpie. No, it wasn't. It was probably a 200, but that's 253 for that one. Got a 217 here. We'll evolve this one. We've got 40 left. Now down to 28. We can probably do two more evolutions, and that is that. Um, but we'll just have to carry on going and see where we're left. Okay, there's the other Metapod there. Nice, nice. Very nice indeed. Thank you very much, Metapod. And another one. Keep going with the evolutions. These are giving us XP galore. Trust me, they are. It's going to be crazy when we see how much we've got. Up, down. Stupid GPS signal. Hopefully, at some point, that GPS signal will never, never come up. I wish there was a way to turn it off altogether. And that yeah, it would be in the background, fair enough. But it just annoys me that you've got to keep getting rid of it every now and again. One more, and then we'll have evolved four, and that's basically four thousand worth of XP plus the um, plus the bell sprout. So that's already five thousand with five evolutions. Very, very cool stuff indeed. And we've got plenty more to go through as well. Some new, some old, and some just just plain old awesome, really. So there's the Metapod there, probably under a hundred now. Yeah, hundred and seventy-eight, but that doesn't matter. We've got Seagush's uh, Scyther there, so he's doing. Rather well still. Got a Clefairy here, the Devil, 666. Uh, the Devil Clefairy. Will it beat all these others? Let's find out. We're going to evolve this one and see how this goes. <clears throat> At the very start, I seem to be getting quite a lot of uh, Clefairies, but they seem to have died down a little bit. But you can see I've got a nice collection of them as well. But a 666 is rather good indeed in terms of CP. But what is it going to be when it gets evolved? Is it going to maybe push 1,400? Is it? Ooh, very, very close indeed. Moon bar Blast? What the heck's that? I mean, it's a fairy move. Fair enough. It's the highest, though. Wow, that's really, really cool. So to probably beat that and maybe get a, 400, uh, a 1400 one, we'd probably need a, maybe about a very, very high 600 to 700 there. But look how many Clefairies we got there. Pretty awesome amount there. Um, I mean, I could trade some of them up. I, I mean, transfer them, but we're not going to do that just yet. And we've got a Cubone right here. He's looking pretty sweet indeed. Uh, we have been getting some, like, random ones every now and again, but getting a Cubone, I was rather happy with that. Diglett's doing pretty well on 43. Hopefully next week we might be able to level him up. Doduo, halfway, so not bad. Another new one here, Dragonair. Now, this wasn't an evolution, this was just a random one. You can see the CP is pretty pathetic. Um, now... This guy is obviously the one we want to sort of focus on at the moment. Now, we've also got some drowsies here. Look at how far the bar is. Look how many candies we've got. I'm going to evolve two of them. We want to go absolutely out on this and hopefully maybe just be just under the 24 level, which would be amazing. And then we're on to 25, which is going to be an absolute climb and a half. But can this guy bring the goods and maybe give us a pretty awesome H uh, CP? <clears throat> Let's have a look. It's going to be over a 1,000. We know that. It's got to be. 
Bang on 1,400. I think that is the highest. I really do think that might be the highest. Will this guy at all come close to it? Let's find out. Um, but this is going to be really, really cool at the end of this to see how much XP we got because it's going to be absolutely crazy. And boom, there he is. Nice. It's probably just going to be under 1,400, I'm guessing. But we got so many Hypnos now, it's ridiculous. Let's go up and down. 1,362. Okay, not bad. Look how many we got, though. I mean, I could transfer these. I might. I might actually start maybe getting a little bit more demanding and maybe only get the 500 ones so I can delete all of these and transfer them for the candies. Now, Eevees. I'm hoping luck is on my side here. We can do two evolutions. Quite close to a third, but two. So, no tricks. They haven't worked. So the tricks, I think, have gone for me at least. I don't know whether it's a one-off on each of them or maybe two. I don't know. But fingers crossed, I do not get a jolty on. Anything else, I will be happy with. This is the highest Eevee. So please, Eevee, be on my side. Maybe a Vaporeon, because a 601 is going to be an absolute killer of a Vaporeon. I am hoping. I am hoping and hoping and hoping... Jolteon. <laughs> Thanks, Jolteon! You know what? You're a real pal. Right, okay, so this is the second highest for at least this week. Fingers crossed this is not going to be a fail. Please, please don't. Don't do this to me. Please don't give me a double Jolteon. I've seen enough Jolteons. A Flareon would be lovely, but a Vaporeon... Oh, yes! Get in there, son. Come on. Okay, that's fab. That is F-A-B. Oh, what? A 1,614! That is the highest ev um, EV evolution. Or e evolution. There we go. Um, wow, that was awesome. That was so, so cool. Ekans. I, I'm, I'm so mad with myself because I've seen two and I couldn't get them on the screen. And it was just so annoying. Um, the eggs have definitely helped with that. So hopefully next week, Ekans will be a Arbok, which is going to be so, so cool. Now, this is the one I'm excited for. We have 75 candies to get the egg, or the at least the execute, into the executor. This is going to be amazing. I cannot wait. So, let's do it. Let's get a brand new one. Come on. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm doing this. It's a 607, I think it was. It might have been a little bit higher. Six, it wasn't 630. I think it was a 607. I'm not too sure how big this can go. I've seen a lot of them be a very high thousand sort of thing, maybe up to two thousand. Okay, it's added to the Pokédex. Does it? Oh, it does fill in a little bit of a gap. Come on. Oh, oh, oh! Yes, yes. Get in there. Nice. Wow. Oh my God, that is amazing. Thousand six hundred fifty-three. Wow. Seed bomb and Zen headbutt. A lot of people on my team are getting Zen headbutt. What's going on? We're not going to power him up because obviously we might be able to find some more in eggs. They might be higher. Oh, look at that. So it basically, it's almost as if it doubles and a half of what you get. So say for example, I got a seven hundred. I might be looking at a thousand seven hundred, eight hundred, maybe. That's not bad. Um, so let's have a little look at Ghastly here. He's on he's on 112. Now of course I have a Haunter already, which I could evolve into a Gengar, but I want the highest Gengar possible. That's what I'm focusing on at the moment. So we're not going to evolve this guy, but fingers crossed this guy will finally be able to get evolved next uh, next week or at least the uh, the next episodes. 56 for this guy. We're round about halfway to the 125 we need, so that's not bad. And this is a pretty high Geo dude as well. We have some others here. This one I caught today actually, so I'll transfer this guy. We don't really need him. Um, Gloom, let's just show you the candies. Very, very slow on Oddish. I don't know what's going on with him. Um, started off quite quick, but now he's sort of slowed down a bit. Um, we have so many gold bats. Um, some of these, um, you're probably wondering, why are they so weak? Some of them um, I got just randomly um, out in the open. You do. F I find a lot more gold bats now than zoo bats. It's really weird. Goldine is ready, though. We got a 5 four, one Goldine. Fingers crossed we're going to have an absolute tank of a Sea King. This is going to be amazing. Come on. Come on, game. Be on my side here. Give me something like a 1,400, 500 Sea King. 
I might be pushing my luck there, but I'd like to think that it might be worth that much. Please give me a Seeking, it's amazing, please. Okay, it's 1,155. Okay, maybe my expectations are a little bit too high. Um, Golduck there, you can obviously see Psyduck we haven't got enough of. Grimer, where the heck are Grimers? I've got no idea. I'm not nowhere near a muck yet. Um, I need some 5k eggs to contain Grimers, really. Um, we've got Growlithe here, he's obviously halfway, not all the way to an evolution yet, though. Um, Horsey we can do to, into a Seedra, we've got 59 candy, so we're going to evolve this guy. Let's go with this, come on, Horsey, let's go, let's go. Up you go, in your little bubble. Go on, go get evolved into a, a Seedra for me. Um, are we looking at maybe a thousand? I'd like to think so. I think we already have a thousand, but this might push us over, maybe? I don't think the evolution is that good. Nope, 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 okay. Whoa, it just had Dragon Breath and Blizzard, I think it said. Why have I kept a 31? I don't know, I probably caught that today. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> Okay, that might have just shown all the XP. I don't know. I'm hoping it didn't um, push the wrong button there. Right, let's go all the way back down to the horsey area. we got our Hypnos there, 1,000, uh, sorry, yeah, 1,400 there. Uh, look at them all, though. we got a, an army of Hypnos. That is crazy, crazy. Uh, Jigglypuff, very slow on the jiggles at the moment. <laughs> Only nine. Uh, four Jolteons, that is, that's a killer. Because we've had some really, really good Eevees, and they've all turned into Jolteons. Look at my Jinxes, though. Look at them, they're nuts. They're crazy. Still not a thousand one, which is doing my head in at the moment. I'm just wishing there was a thousand one somewhere. Um, Coffin's not doing bad. I haven't seen a lot of him. I'd like to see him in an egg again, and maybe a few in the wild. Um, but we're going to do a Krabby here. Quite close to a second one, but we're just going to do the one, obviously. Um, this is the highest, 433 at the moment. We're hoping for over a 1,000 with this guy. Might not happen, but fingers crossed it does. It's going into a Kingler stage. Here he comes, straight back down. La 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 la, lovely. What are you going to give us? Come on, give us something good. It might not give us the highest. Okay, 1,013. That is the lowest. Okay, so our Krabbies at the moment are quite low, so fingers crossed we can find some more. I found a wild Lickitung as well, so I think that was this 712 one, so I was rather happy to see that guy. Uh, me and Chris, when we were out, we found a Macho as well, which was really, really cool. Of course, it's not like majorly impressive, but it's pretty cool. Uh, we also f found some Magikarps. This is the highest now. We have a new highest. A one, five, six, and you can see how many candies we've got. Two, three, seven. Now you're probably wondering why are you keeping all of these magic cards? Well, I'm keeping them because they're still in the hundreds and they're ideal just in case for the next evolution we can't find a higher one than a one five six, for example. Um, so that that that's what I'm doing. Obviously the magma here doing very, very well um, where he is. He obviously came from the 10k egg. Magnemites were well, we're doing rather well, slow but sure. Mankey, I'm ex I'm so ecstatic, uh, ec ecstatic for because we're able to get Primate now, which is going to be amazing. So we're going to evolve our highest Mankey, a 488, which is rather cool. I don't know what the evolution is. I'm guessing it's going to be over a thousand. I would I would expect it. So um, super happy to evolve a Mankey, to be honest. Because oh, hello, game. Oh wow. Oh that crash. You mean it, it, it's... Oh, it hasn't. It has. Go on. Go for it. Go on. Log in. That's it. Log in. Why would you crash? Why would the game crash? Okay. Thanks very much, game. You are my best... There's an Oddish nearby? What? Really? Okay. Uh, how are we doing on XP, though? Let's just... Oh, wow. We're up to 80,000? Really? Oh, my God. Come on. Let's keep going. Right. So, what were we looking for then? A recent. Okay. So, that was a... Mankey to a primate. The primate has now gone to... Where's the primate? Oh, I know why, because it's it's not a thing I caught. I got you. Um, so we'll have to just work our way back down to the Mankey. Mankey, Mankey, Mankey. Where are you? Mankey, there he is. Okay, so Mankey, he was evolved. So he was... What was he? A four four eight eight. So we're looking for a... Oh my god, here he is. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Primate, primate, primate. Prime... Oh, wow, okay. Not bad. Is it crashed again? Wow, it's crashed again. It doesn't like the primates. So you know what? We'll be back when the primate has sorted himself out.
Okay, so here he is, the Prime Ape. Um, I don't know what was going on there. Several crashes, but he looks pretty cool. He looks pretty cool. I don't know what he's doing, a little funky dance there, but I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not annoyed with the amount of CP he's got. I mean, it's over a thousand, which is rather good, but now I know that the mankeys that I'm getting aren't exactly the highest to give me a high Prime Ape. Cross Chop and Low Kick. Not bad, not bad. So if we make our way back up, to where we were, which was at the Mankey stage. Meowths were on 39, so we can't do much there. Look at our Metapod army, going very, very well. Mr. Mimes, getting extremely good now. Um, I've seen two where I work, um, and I got both of them. One being the 740, which I almost left. I was leaving work in the car, and it popped up, and I thought, no. And I was driving, and it went away, and I thought, no, I'm going back. So I reversed all the way back in. Found it again, got it. So glad I got it because it was a 740. Um, pathetic ones, obviously, with this 20. Look at the bar. It's nowhere near where we want it. But a 740, I'm guessing the bar being there means we can probably get a 1,000 one if we're lucky. Um, so, Nido King. Uh, we've got Nidoran fe uh, not, sorry, male uh, 38. So that's not bad. I mean, I'm not going to go for an evolution just yet. Obviously, we need 125 to get another Nido King. Nido Queen, though, we're looking at just 30 more candies. So that's about 10 more Nidoran uh, females, and uh, we'll be able to get that one. I've got four Oddishes here. Now, I know I could, you know, get rid of them, but they're sort of high, so I want to just keep them for a little bit. Um, and our Omanite there, which, I mean, it's, it's very slow. We haven't even got a Kabuto yet, which I know a lot of people have got. There's an Onyx there. Which we obviously got from the 10k egg. There's no point looking at the candies though. Um, four seven, uh, sorry, four five five for that one. Only 27 on that guy. Uh, our first Persian uh, Pidgeots, Pidgeotos. Now here we go. Ready for the candies? We have 282 candies on the Pidgeys. So look at all of these. Look at all these mad Pidgeys that we're going to just go mad and evolve. So let's just do it. Let's just go all the way through them and evolve every single one of them because we we got them. If we got the lucky egg on, it's giving us a thousand each evolution, and we've got that many candies. I'm not entirely, you know, I don't want a Pidgeot now. I want new stuff. You know, we've got Pidgeots. Fab. It's like with the Hypnos. Um, I've got about eight Hypnos now. Six, eight, five. Not bad. Is that the highest? Flipping heck, it is. Okay, that's fair enough. Um, evolve. Yes, keep going. So, yeah, it's rather cool that we're able to just do this, and I, I just... It wasn't that it was a sl it was a slow gain in XP, but I just wanted a bit of a a, a boost, you know, something to sort of like <clears throat> get it going a bit, you know. We do evolutions, don't get me wrong, but not enough. We need more, so we're just gonna go through all these and just see what what's going on, really. I mean, uh, they're gonna go down in um, CP, of course, but. It's just giving us an army of Pidgeotos, so <laughs> we'll just go with that. But imagine if we evolved all of them and how many Pidgeots we'd be left with. It's ideal for trading as well. You know, someone might say to you, I'll have, I'll have ten of Pidgeotos and I'll give you, I don't know, um, an Omanyte. I don't know, it could be something stupid like that. Um, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. I want to know as well, when this trading thing comes in, can you just trade candies? I'd like to see that. I'd like to see you can actually trade the candies over, because I know I've got, I've got friends in work and friends in general who have the game, and they've got so many candies, and they've evolved them, and it's like, right, um, give me your candies. <laughs> you almost want to say that. Or it's as if maybe when you transfer the Pokemon, you can actually give them some candies as well, so they can at least evolve it, you know, even if you gave them a Pidgey. Not that a Pidgey is hard to find, but, I mean, they're practically everywhere. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's rather interesting, and I think a lot of people have got their own opinions and thoughts on... Uh, Leveling up and everything like that. So uh, fingers crossed that uh, it's going to get implemented uh, soonish. They have said that the Gen 2 might be out by the end of the year, which would be amazing. But uh, we know of the delay of the Pokemon Go Plus device. And in terms of that, I have been uh, pegging it on when I've been walking around or driving around. It does, you know, it works. It's fantastic. And... Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's a great way to test it, but the only thing is is that I'm not walking around, which isn't ideal. Um, the only time I walk around is when I'm actually in work or at home, and that's it. Like I've, I've explained this before when it first came out. Um, on my device, on my iPad, I, I don't have any of the internet. Um, 
I don't have like a, what's it called? I don't know, a contract. But I do have the Wi-Fi, and I use the Wi-Fi. Wherever there's Wi-Fi, I can play Pokemon Go, and that's exactly what you want. Um, I mean, it's working out for me. Look how many flipping Pokemon I've got. I'm happy. I'm, I'm majorly happy. And there can actually be some real, real gems in some stupid places. Really stupid. Um, you can walk around and there being no Pokestops and you're going to get an amazing Pokemon. Um, you know, Mr. Mimes have spawned. Abras have spawned. Uh, I'm talking about wh where I work. Um, what else has spawned? There's actually been a Lapras that has spawned. Um, one of my... <laughs> One of my friends, they they sort of, uh, they they ran in and he literally said, there's a Lapras. And I, obviously I'm, I'm working at the time. I can't exactly say, right guys, I'm off, ta-da, I'm going to go get this Lapras, you know, see you later. He said, oh, give me your iPad, I'll go out and get him. Two minutes later he came back, no, it's gone. It's the, I think all the Pokemon, when they spawn, they've only got 15 minutes and then they've gone. Which... I guess is okay for the people who see them, but then when you try and report the, not report them, but when you try and like um, tell other people to go there, and maybe it's like half an hour later, they're like really annoyed. I mean, I've had that, and other people have had that, where you get so annoyed that you didn't have the time, or you've been working, and you can't go out and get that awesome Pokemon. It's just, uh, it's frustrating, but that's life. I mean, look how many evolutions we're doing right now. This is crazy. We've still got so many candies as well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Up and down. Pidgey to a Pidgeotto. If if somebody doesn't know the evolution to a Pidgey to a Pidgeotto, I think I think this is the, this is definitely the cure. You know, you just watch this. It's like Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgey, Pidgeotto. I almost want to say it should be Pidgey, Pidgeot, and then Pidgeotto, because it sort of adds adds more characters to the name. And by adds more characters, I mean the amount of letters. You know, Pidgey is six, Pidgeot is seven, Pidgeotto adds a T and an O, so that's uh, nine. <laughs> and that sort of gives you, it's like, it's like with Nidoran to Nidorino to Nido King, but Nido King goes backwards, it almost has the same amount as Nido Ran. No, it doesn't have, it has one more, but it just looks smaller. <laughs> you want a big name, you know, you go from Poliwag to Poliwhirl to Poliwrath, but also the names sound more deadlier, in a way. It's like Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard. They also mean different things, like Charmander. It sort of reminds me of a Salamander. Charmeleon is like a um, what's it called? A not a Charme? No, I I just what Charmeleon is a Charmeleon? Yeah, of course it is. Um, what's the thing with Melian on the end? Uh, oh, I don't know. And then Charizard is a lizard. So they've all got them different stages. Mili Melian, Melian. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> I keep wanting to say Charmeleon, but it's not. Some sort of lizard, but that is, that that is rather cool how they've done that. But it's also with like Bulbasaur, Venusaur, and then um, Ivysaur as well. They've all got saw on the end, like a dinosaur. Um, you've got Squirtle, Wartortle, Blastoise. So you've got the Squirtle and the TLE, and then the Wartortle with the TLE. But then Blastoise just goes all out and above and gets that amazing name. They sound more and more menacing as you go on. There are so many Pidgeys to evolve. This is crazy, crazy. This is absolutely mad. But let me know, guys, in the comments below what your favourite evolution is from Pokemon. It doesn't have to be Generation 1, but just let me know what's going on. You know, it could be to do with the Mega Evolutions as well. I know a few of them. I mean, you know, most of the starters have got them, or at least some of them. Um, but the, the Gen 1s have all got them. I think Gen 2s have got them as well. Mudkip and Torchic and Trico, I think they've all got Mega Evolutions. Um, I'd like to see... Uh, what's they have? I like the Turtwig... Which is Turtwig, Piplup, and Chimchar. I loved them. I flipping loved Tur Turtwig. Um, but Totodile as well. That's that's. They need to have some mega evolutions. I mean, you know, think about, think about Gen two. But that's definitely what flipping heck. We're running out of Pidgeys. We are running out of Pidgeys, guys. This is nuts. I'm even going really low now. This is interesting. I'm I'm I've got more candies than I have Pidgeys, or I'm using more. Pidgeys than I am candies. This is crap. I thought I was going to run out. I thought we only had enough for like 12, but oh no. 
Oh no! Keep going, guys. Keep going. This is nuts. This is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Last one. And I won't evolve any more then. I'm not going to evolve one into a Pidgeot. There's no point. I want to save all these up again because it's going to be amazing. And this is what I love, I can actually keep all of these evolutions, you know, this is taking me about a week and a half to get all of this stuff. Um, you think a week and a half of, you know, maybe spending, I don't know, let's say an hour a day, an hour a day, and you're getting this much stuff is crazy. The eggs help as well, the eggs help so much. But as we move on though, we got Pikachu here which has got 24, so we're not doing bad here. Now I could make him my partner because a Pikachu only takes 1km to get a candy, so that'd be rather quick. Um... So we'll just have to wait and see on that one. Now we do have the Poliwag. Now look at this. We have 141 candies. We can evolve this all the way up to a Poliwrath. That's going to be amazing. So, so cool. So let's evolve it up into a Poliwhirl. Um, and then I'm going to just check on the egg just to see we've got enough time. I might have to crack another one open because this is a crazy evolution session. Crazy, crazy indeed. Um, but there is the Poliwhirl. We have a Poliwhirl. What is it going to be? That was a f over 400 on the Poliwag. Ooh, a 747. Is that higher than the other one? What? Really? Okay, so I could have just evolu uh, evolued, <laughs> ev evolved this one. This is going to the Poliwrath. Okay, so if we've got a 763, I'm going to take a guess and say 1,400. That's my ult ultimate guess goal here. A thousand four hundred would be lovely to see for a Polyrath. That would be an absolute tank in the army that we have forming. <clears throat> Come on. Okay, there's the Polyrath. Looking absolutely amazing. It's a brand new Pokemon. Haven't got this one at all. There he is, added to the Pokedex. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We got eight. Bingo. Oh, I was bang on. Nice. Wow, Bubble and Hydro Pump. That might be the best move set, or at least the bottom one is. Wow. And we're left with 12, uh, 18 candies. Look at the evolution, though. You go from hello to all right, and then you go to get out of my way. That's basically what, what, what I'm seeing there. 34 for Ponyta. Can't wait to get a Rapidash. Uh, more Psyducks there. we got Rattatas going on here. This is going to be crazy as well. Look at this. 218. We can get 8 evolutions from the Rattatas. So, oh, I didn't check the egg, did I? I'm going to check the egg right now after this evolution. <clears throat> I might throw another one on. This is nuts. Absolutely nuts. But our first Rattata. Will it beat the other three? My guess, no. But we have had some Rattatas from eggs. So, they normally give you some pretty high... See, 8... Seven, five. Oh, it's our second highest. Okay, not bad. Oh my god, 23,000. Look at that. Oh, come on. So how many do we need? We basically need another 20, 22. We need 22 more evolutions. And then we level up. That is crazy. I'm going to wait for this egg to uh, do its thing. Go to the items. Um, you'll see as well, I've got I've got different bits and bobs here. What I have been doing, I haven't been focusing on the gyms as much as more catching Pokeballs and eggs. So, my Great Balls, they're doing rather well. Ultra Balls, they are like literally, they're golden. You don't use them unless it's something that you ultra need. Um, <laughs> but uh, it, 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 it's it's really fun going to the Pokestops and just hoping that you get any eggs. But obviously, since... Oh, an Eevee just popped up. Um... Since all of our eggs have now been depleted since that 10k egg was done, we've got no eggs. So I will have to go back out and do a load more egg. Uh, looking for 4, 3, 2, 1. That's been half an hour. Items, another lucky egg going on straight off. Oh no, hold on, I can't. Now I can. Come on. There you go. Lucky egg. On. Right, okay. Let's carry on. So, Rattatas all the way down. We've still got plenty to do. Plenty and plenty and plenty and plenty. This is an amazing episode. Look at all the Pidgeots. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Right, okay. Let's see what we can do with this. These are probably going to be quite high 800s, I'm guessing. Maybe mid 800 for this guy. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. Let's go up. Go on, Rattata. Up you go. And give me another Raticate. We're going to have tons of Raticates after this. Probably about... Uh, I said we we're going to have 8, plus there was 3 already there, so that's 11. Crazy amount of Rattagates, wow. 
And you do find them out on the, uh, I was going to say out on the street, but out out in the wild, but uh, out on the street. I'll just bring the rats to read. Come on, little fella. Uh, at least they look a little bit more cuter than the, the actual rats you see in life, you know, or at least mice that you see in real life, because mice is so skitty and they run around everywhere. But th this guy, you know, he looks as if he could, you know, sit at the front of your house and actually, like, defend the house, not, like, get stuck in a cage and yeah <laughs> oh this is getting deep this is just getting deep this episode is major major stuff it's crazy absolutely crazy so there's another rat case yes lovely you do your little attack voice that's lovely stupid gps signal i mean how many times am i going to be doing this this is crazy amount right so well, actually, even if... Hold the phone. We might even be able to crack off um, nine here, uh, not rather than eight, because obviously when you ev evolve, you get an extra candy. Now, I only needed a few more to get, get this uh, evolution done, so we might be able to do nine. We, st we needed 22, didn't we, to level up to 24. This is going to be amazing if we can do this today. I wasn't exactly planning that this would happen, but who knows? We might get lucky. We might get really, really lucky here. Go on, Rathster. Up you go. Ta-da. Whee! I can fly! You can indeed. Okay, eradicate. Awesome. Meh. Lovely. Little swishy tail. It's going lower and lower. How many have we got left? Look how many we've got though. This is crazy. Oh, you know what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to go... Boom. There you go. Get rid of that one. Now we have enough for another three. This is crazy. Oh, and the craziness hasn't even started yet, guys. Because we still have some new evolutions to do. We still have some beastly evolutions to do, in fact. This is nuts. I can't believe how many we're actually doing today. This is crazy. I keep saying that, but it is. It's absolutely nuts. It's crazy. So let me know, guys, in the comments below as well. How many of you evolved all at one time? Do you just, like, you know, wait for the candies and then evolve it straight away? Or do you sort of, like, bulk them out and then think, yeah, let's do them all together when I've got a lucky egg on? Ooh, because... Boy, oh boy, this is amazing stuff. How many raticates are we going to have after this? This is crazy. About 12? 12 raticates. Who needs 12 raticates? I evidently do. Um, at least my Pokemon are sort of... Well, I say they're sort of low. They're not really, because they are still the same amount. Because we're evolving and getting a new Pokemon. Is this the last one? I think it is the last one. And then we've run out of candies completely. Or at least we've got two or three. Or four. But we've also got those those others down uh, down below that are a little bit weaker. But you can see the CP is going down all the time for these guys. You know, we've started with the weakest and worked our way there. I don't think I've got enough for another one. No, I don't. We've got, we're left with three. So we got three, six, nine, twelve, twelve. Bang. Straight off. Um. No, oh, there's our Cedras there. There's our Sea Kings. Three Sea, <laughs> three Sea Kings. Three Cedras. Wow. Um, this is ma this is amazing. Now, here we go. This is where stuff gets real. We have a Rhyhorn. Look how many candies we've got. We've got 73. Now, thank God. Thank God that Chris was in the car. Thank God that eggs were hatching because we have been able now to get a Rhyhorn. This is the highest one. 719. Honestly, I'd say 1,500. That's what I'm hoping for. I think it deserves to be doubled. I would hope, I would really, really hope 1,400 to 500 would be amazing. Anything higher is going to blow my mind. This is a brand new Pokemon as well. Good luck, we've got the, a uh, good thing we got the egg on. Let's take that off, take that on. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Another one added, nice. Oh, okay. Um... Okay, fair enough, fair enough. That's that's not bad. So we've just gone under a double. So it's almost a double. So that's good to know. It's literally almost a double. So say we had an 800 one, we'd probably be looking maybe at about a five, yeah, 1,500, I'd say. But that's not bad. That is not bad indeed. Look how much um, powering up you need, though. Wow, that's crazy. But that is a pretty awesome one to add to our collection. Sandshrew, pathetic. I need eggs with Sandshrew in them. Um, I've got nothing. 
Uh, Scyther there as well, Cedras, Sea Kings, Seal is halfway there, Shelder we can evolve so we're going to do this one, he's a 4-5-8, will he beat the Cloisters? I don't think he will, um, that we've got at the moment at least, but I think we got one from an egg, I think we got two from an egg actually, but I could be wrong, that could have been a few weeks ago, um, but there we go, another Cloister, <clears throat> there he is. We also got one, I got one in the wild as well, so that was rather cool. That was a pretty decent CP as well, 1,154. We'll check that out as, uh, well, ooh, hello. There's our Snorlax there, look at him. Oh, he's so cool. Another Slowbro, which, uh, that was a wild one as well, that Slowbro. Um, I think I've shown that one off before, though. Spearow's quite slow, to be honest. We have a few there as well, Squirtles, let me show you this. Squirtles, we have 75 candies. Look how many we got, 1, 2, 3, 4... 7, 10, 13, 16. 16 of them. So that's basically another 15 candies on top. See where I'm getting at? If we can keep saving them up, we're going to be there in no time. Fingers crossed. Maybe next week or the week after, we'll be on it. <clears throat> so there's our Vaporeon there, the 1,614. That is amazing. We've got a Venomoth there over 1,000 and another Venomoth there. I've got a 584 here. Now, fingers crossed that this might double. I'm hoping it will, but we'll just have to wait and see and see what happens. <clears throat> but fingers are definitely crossed here. Up you go, little fella. Give us some luck with this Venomoth. Maybe over a thousand would be nice to see, but I can't see it happening. That thousand was actually a wild one, which was rather cool, because I thought, oh, here we go, we've beaten the rare... Oh, okay. It beat it. Okay, so that's rather cool. That is rather cool indeed. So look, there is our victory bell there. That's the wild one. A 253. So that is not bad indeed. Uh, we got the Vault Orb there, which is quite slow. We got 11 on that one. Look at this. We still got Weedles to do as well. This is going to be crazy, crazy, crazy. So let's get through these as well. Wow, there's so many evolutions. 24, here we come. That's all I'm saying. 24, here we come. Because this is mad. I wasn't expecting this many evolutions, guys. I really wasn't. I was looking at the candies thinking, oh, yeah, it's only going to be about mm, a few of them and a few of this one. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is why saving up is amazing. And then putting a lucky egg on is even better. Wow. 257 for that guy. Let's just keep evolving these guys. I can't believe the luck. I can't believe the luck. Um, all I'm thinking of at the moment is what Gen 2s am I looking forward to? The starters, definitely. Toast Dial, I'd love to evolve up to a Fraligator. I think he's my favourite um, starter, f at least for Gen 2. Um, Gen 1, I don't know. It, it, it's a cross between Charmander and Bulbasaur. I mean, I like Charmander when it's... W sorry, I like um, Bulbasaur when it's Bulbasaur. But I like Charmander when it's up to Charizard. That's, that's the thing. Um... Mm, it's odd. It, it, it is definitely odd. It's an oddity, nevertheless. <clears throat> but let me know what your favourite Generation 2 is and which one you're looking for. Also, the legendaries I'm, I'm looking forward to. I don't know when or how or what the heck's going to happen with them, but at some point, something's going to happen. Um, I did see, I think somebody was talking about a 25km egg for a legendary. Honestly, I'd love to see that because I think that that definitely is a legendary performance there. If you are trying to hatch a, um, a 25km egg, it's going to be something major, isn't it? It's going to have to be a major... It's either a major distance or something major will happen involving a lot of people. Um, you know, I remember the, watching the trailer and the Mewtwo comes up and everyone's in uh, Times Square and they're all battling the Mewtwo at the same time. Will that happen? I don't know. Um... We're literally just going to have to wait and see. Are they going to introduce a legendary egg, which is literally like a legendary egg? Um, and it can only be hatched after 25? I, I don't know. No idea. No one said anything and nothing is being said just yet. But we know they're coming because they're on the system. Um, people have already found player models and everything like that, which is just m amazing. Literally amazing. <laughs> So many evolutions. So many. We haven't even got to the end yet. I mean, we're in the W's, but we got to still do that. The uh, the weeping bell up to the victory bell. That's going to be crazy. That was like a 900 one. Ooh, what's that going to be? A 1,400, 500, I'm going to guess. It's going to be crazy. we got some really high Pokemon now. Really high. 
They're definitely worth putting in a battle. Ooh, it's crazy. I still see gyms though, and you think, what the heck is that doing in there? God, we still got. Oh, hello. <laughs> we still got loads of these. Mad. Mad. Um, what haven't I seen in a gym? Um, I honestly haven't seen a Kengus Khan. I know it's a, a thing for Australia, but I I thought that you could get them in 5k eggs as well. Um, <clears throat> Tanglers I haven't seen a lot of. Uh, the evolved form of Kabuto I haven't seen a lot of. But I know other people might say that they have seen a lot of. But I know that other people have seen a lot of... You know, you, you do. You see a lot of different ones. Like, for example, my area, I see a lot of Squirtles compared to Charmander or... Well... I say Charmander. I haven't even seen a Charmander. I haven't got one. Um, and the 2k eggs are evidently hating me at the moment because it's like, you want a Charmander? No, you have a, you have a Squirtle. Have a Squirtle. Um, what if I don't want a Squirtle? No, it's tough. Have the Squirtle. Um, <clears throat> as much as I, 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 you know, I love a Squirtle. It's fantastic. It's brilliant. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, it'd be nice to see some other things hatching from the eggs. I'm sick of seeing Star Us, Sea Kings, uh, sorry, the Goldines, and Parises. And I might add. Who else was I going to add into that list? There's another one which is really bugging me, and I, I want to. I don't really want to see it more. I can't remember. Can't remember at all. Volpix is very, very slow indeed. I'd like to see that guy in a 5k egg. Um, there, there's, there's turns that you could see in a 5k, you know, a ghastly just to pump, pump us up to the, that next level to get a Gengar would be amazing. Odd issue? Oh no! Okay, I pushed the wrong button there, I do apologise. Oh, damn. What did I push the button for? Okay, we got a, we got a third B-drill! Hey ho! There we go, that's fab. Lovely. I don't know if we've got enough candies now to keep evolving any more. Uh, six, five, one... No. Oh, great job. Great job, Matthew. You absolute legend. Well done. Wow, that is really close, actually. Whoo! Okay, so we're going to evolve this one to a victory bell. Now, I did say 1,400 to 1,500. Am I going to be right, or am I going to be even more impressed? And could this turn out to be the highest Pokemon we have? Would it beat the Snorlax? I don't think it would. But there's our victory bell. What are you going to be? Oh! Well, that's not bad! And it's got Solar Beam as well, which is a pretty awesome move. Nice! That is really cool. Look at him compared to the other one. Oh, he's like, ah, oh, sad, 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 sad times. Um, so I only do one Zubat evolution just to see what we can get for this Golbat. Hopefully it's over a thousand. That was a 500 Zubat, I think I was right. No, it might be. It might be in 300. Who knows? But this is the last evolution. <clears throat> and then we'll go call it a day and we'll just check how our uh, stats are doing. Well, stats and also our highest Pokemon because obviously we have to do that. 1072. Hmm, not bad indeed. So combat power, let's... Oh, wow. Look at all the mixture, though. The mixture of them all. Make a way up. Make a way up. There's over 300 Pokemon in my Pokedex. This is crazy, crazy stuff. 600s, 800s, 900s. We're into the thousands, up to the top. And um, here we go. Our top three now. Wow, this has changed considerably. So... Slowbro, who was second, is now fourth. He has been beaten by an Executor and a Vaporeon. Victory Bell is up there. Snorlax is up absolute beast, although Executor is coming quite close. Polyraph doing very well. Hypno, Vaporeon, Clefable. Uh, the Rhydon there. Hypno, Golduck, Nidoking there. Magmar's making his way down here. Highest Jolteon is right there. Tentacruel could do with a higher one. Aerodactyl right there, Wigglytuff doing rather well, Pinsir right there, loads of Pidgeots, loads of Hypnos, Cloyster there as well, I think that's the highest one probably, um, there's a Golbat there, not, so that other one that we just evolved just then was not the highest, but look how many thousands we've got, that is crazy, I can't believe this, it's amazing, and, what the heck is that?
What's on the screen? Is that an Aerodactyl? What? What? No! No way! What? No, 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 no! What? What? CP89? Are you kidding me? What? Whoa, 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 we gotta hatch this. Uh, hatch it? No, we're not hatching it. What the heck is this doing here? How have I got 21? Oh, because we leveled up. Okay, cool. Oh my god. I'm getting you. I'm getting you. I know it's weak, but I'm getting it. Because, what was that throw? What was that throw? Come on. Whom? Okay, the Pokeballs aren't working. Uh, right. I know what to do. Hold the phone. AR mode off. Because I need to, I need to do this. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, okay, hit him. Okay, he should go in straight away. He's a very low one. I honestly thought that was a Charizard. How the heck did I just get an Aerodactyl? Oh my god, how did that Aerodactyl spawn? Look, and then we get a rat! We how did the Aerodactyl spawn? I, I, I don't get it. Oh, I love AR mode though. Except for when there's a flying one. When there's a flying one, AR mode can go away. Because you need to tilt it to throw the Pokeball. Otherwise you're wasting loads of them. Why I used an Ultra Ball then, I don't know. But I had them to use. Didn't I use three of them? I think I used three of them. But that rat has uh, been caught. Happy days. And of course we still got our um, thing going. But look at that. We're 24 now. Oh, what a climb now to 25. This is going to be amazing. Oh, wow, I was not expecting to be level 24 by the end of today. That was nuts. Oh, that's amazing. And Bulbasaur's practically... He's over halfway now. Um, he's doing okay. You know, he's doing okay. Um, we'd like to see some more in the wild, but an 89... An 89? Really? You know, it's kind of a big difference when you look at names and you think, Oh, look, an Aerodactyl. Oh, look at that one. Oh, yeah, he's, he's 89. Oh, but look at his moveset. Why has he got Hyper Beam? What's this guy got? Iron Head. Iron Head. That's probably one of the best movesets, I think. 15 and 120 by 6 and 30. Well, of course it is. Of course it is. His HP is 103, whilst his HP is 26. Good job. His is an extra large, whilst this one is an extra small. Wow. Um... Please tell me his thing is not going to say he's a wonder. Oh, thank God for that. Thank you. He's colossal. I know he is. But how? 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 How do we get that? How? When? Where? Why? Was that because I had a lucky egg on? No, I don't know. I don't know. It's just luck. But guys, wow. What an episode. We are now level 24. Let me know in the comments below what level you are, what your favourite Pokemon is, and what your highest one is. There's tons and tons of stuff in, in this episode. It's crazy. It's been so long, so epic, and I cannot wait to see what else we can get during the week. Now, um, when will the next week on? <clears throat> I won't be putting another episode on next week, but I will be doing one after that. I'm going to give it about a week and a half, maybe two, who knows, just to sort of get a nice colossal amount of different ones. And then we'll be back because boy oh boy that was amazing look at how much we've got to level up by now a uh, 150 thousand that is going to be a climb but look how much we leveled up by today that was only halfway so we've basically leveled up by about 60 thousand in one evolution day crazy 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 luck and why why are all of these good ones coming up now where are they is there, please tell me there's not a there's not a thing on no there's not the two ones i'm nearby they're not Wow. But any anyway, I'm going to go and um, breathe into a paper bag and uh, calm down because that was amazing. And I'll see you guys next time on the channel for more stuff as well as Pokemon Go. Um, but make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Comment like I've said throughout the video and of course rate the video. And I'll see you guys next time for more Pokemon Go, which is going to be even more epic. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching and goodbye.